Hi, um, I've got some new stuff here, uh, which I will show you. First up is the Maxpedition Volta case, battery case. It's also can be used for carrying shotgun cartridges too. Um, okay, this is in black. It has PALS attachment on the back. I also got some uh, the Maxpedition tactiles, so I can uh, attach them to the PALS webbing and hook it onto my bag or my belt. Okay, the case has a quite loud Velcro attachment on the front. Inside you get this double Volta battery case unit, which slides apart. It's color coded, you could use it for fresh and used batteries or whatever you wish. Um, it's quite versatile, it takes 4A, AA, it also takes Let's put two double A in there, uh, triple A's, and CR123 lithium batteries. It's very well designed. There's a little uh, notch in here stops you from pushing the lithium battery in too far. It's quite a tight fit, it'd be hard to get it out again. So, there you go. Now, admittedly, when you carry in triple A's, it's a little bit rattly, but with the uh, CR123s and double A's, it's pretty quiet. So you can carry eight batteries up to eight double AA, A, triple A, or lithiums. So that fits snugly inside the pouch. You can then use the Maxpedition Tactiles, which I haven't used before. So if you give me a minute. Looks like these slide on the back. Let me take the, take the case out first. It might be a bit easier to fit these. A bit more room. There we go. Pull that through. So there you've got a nice pretty secure locking mechanism on it so you can loop your belt through there or you can loop it onto the PALS webbing on the Maxpedition bags so one other thing to show you about this pouch you can fit five 12 gauge cartridges So they fit pretty well. It's a, it's a nice way to keep a few spare cartridges on your belt. Although, if you're out shooting game, that's going to be a little loud open. Okay. Uh, one other reason I got this pouch was I do like flashlights and have a few. I usually carry a flashlight with me every day, so. This is a new Zebralite H501. Well, it's new to me, it's been out for a while, this torch. Here we go. It's pretty small. There's a compared with. I'm just going to flick this camera to macro, give you a close up. So you can see the size. It's a really compact little light. And it's really lightweight. Okay. Ah, just having a beer too. Okay. The Zebra light, this is a little aluminium light. It has a clicky switch on the top. And unscrew the bottom. I'm going to use an Energizer Lithium AA battery. I'll just give you a 
хорошего сон. You see there's a quick flash there when you engage the tail cap fully. So the modes on this are quick click brings on high mode which let me just see I think it's about 96 lumens um, they don't actually tell you on this but from reading uh, some reviews on candle power forums you think they tell you on the uh, information sheet anyway very bright um, if you hold down the top button it goes low medium high low medium high let go if you release it it'll stay in the mode you want so the low mode is really quite good for for reading at night I'll just uh, turn the light out here so this is low mode it looks a little blue on the camera it's actually warmer than that it's not as cold as it looks and you get a nice floody type beam floody I mean flood type beam so we'll hold in again we get medium and hold again we get sorry I went through all three modes there it goes through them in about a second you get high mode which if I just light up let me flick this camera back to it provides some excellent light if I turn it off quick click turns it off quick click on again we have low so low medium low medium high so there's low you can't really see on the camera it's not picking it up that well but low medium and go oh, sorry high mode so I'll just turn the light on I also noticed with this if we uh, quick we touch the tail the button at the top and uh, turns the light off quick touch comes on high hold so it's low medium high quick tap and it's off if you uh, let me just turn this on high mode tap the button twice on high mode you get a strobe which I know a lot of people don't like but it's quite well hidden so you won't come across it in the interface too easily and then turn off um, yeah, the button is fairly sensitive um, but as you say you can very slight turn up the tail cap will lock this flashlight out so that is sorry the zebra light h501 paid just over 50 pounds for this it's a little dear but oh let me just show you some of the accessories that come in the box you get this is actually a headlamp so you get the carrier the headlamp carrier is a strap with a little like camouflage pattern on it and a rubber holder for the flashlight which you just push through like so that's it so I'll just engage the light and you have an excellent headlamp um, the other accessories are you get a couple of spare o-rings for the battery cap you also get a clip now let me just uh, lock the light out while I fit it There we go. There's the clip fitted. This makes the light very handy. You can clip it onto your rucksack or if you're working on your car you can clip it to the hood of the engine bay.
clip it to your belt or your jeans. You know, it's a perfect little light for camping, everyday carry, even if you get a power cut. You put this on a medium or high mode, you can light up the best part of a room. So, we'll see how it performs over the next few months. Uh, other accessories, one more. Glow in the dark holder where you can attach some paracord around this and uh, hang it from your neck or hang it in your tent. I'll just show you how it works. I'll shine a bit of light on it first. Oh, that is glow in the dark. <laughs> Excellent. So Pretty good accessories. All in all you're getting a really good good little kit for the money. And the build quality seems really good. On candle power forums the reports on the slide have been great. So comes highly recommended. Oh another good thing. Uh, the Maxpedition Volta case. I plan on carrying four batteries. I also have room then for a zebra light, which I just turned on. Um, and if you need it, you can fit the accessories in there. Let me see. Let's see how it fits. Okay, it's quite a snug fit, but basically I've got four batteries, the Zebra Light headlamp and the strap and headband strap for it in the Maxpedition Volta case. Strap, Zebra Light and case for four batteries. So, pretty happy with these two purchases. Hope you enjoyed the video. Thanks. Bye.